Hello and welcome back to Desktop Publishing with Cork Express. My name is Martin Turner. Over the last few weeks, we've been talking about some of the new and enhanced features of Cork Express 2017. This week, I want to talk about some extensions which are already available for Cork Express 2017, which I've come to rely on a great deal over the last few years. Now, extensions have been part of the architecture of Cork since the early days. And essentially, our, our little uh, sub-programs like plugins, which enable you to do things in Quark, which you couldn't otherwise do. They don't usually have a whole lot of features. They are there to do one particular job and do it excellently. So the first thing I want to talk about is called Autocorrect XT, and it's by AthenaSoft. Now, over here, I've got the... Um, uh, text of Wuthering Heights. You may have studied this in school. Uh, and you'll see I've got a, a kind of stripy underline here for misanthropists. Now, if I click on here, then you'll see that it's offering me misanthropists as a plural, misanthropist as a singular, uh, but um, uh, not usually uh, as a uh, singular with an apostrophe S. It's often misanthropes. Now, uh, I don't want to change Emily Bronte's writing, uh, but uh, this is a good example of how you can use autocorrect XT, which all it does is it flags up on the screen uh, words that it doesn't know. And it allows you to add them to the dictionary, to ignore them, uh, or to ignore all, uh, or to correct them, which of course is the main thing. Uh, and um, in this way, uh, it enables you to know exactly what's going wrong. Now, I'm not suggesting that you want to start uh, replacing your proofreader with this, but uh, when you're working to a tight deadline uh, and uh, you're on version 27 of a document, which is very important to your uh, client, uh, and um, the... Uh, document has just been changed yet again and it's only 20 minutes before the deadline you don't have time to go back to the proofreader uh, it's in that case uh, much much easier to uh, be able to just see on the page that what you just typed in has got a mistake uh, equally to see that what you've typed in is maybe a different version of uh, the word from the one that you've agreed. So, um, autocorrect XT, uh, you install it as an extension, you, you just double click on it or, or drag it uh, from, from the installer. Uh, and uh, once you've restarted Quark, so uh, you've got to restart Quark in order to install additional extensions, um, it will uh, do this work for you. And you can uh, do the usual things you do with spell check dictionaries, but it's appearing on the screen uh, just like it does in Microsoft Word, uh, but without the irritating changing things while you're not looking that Microsoft Word does, which would of course be quite dangerous. This is a, an on-screen uh, spell check revealer, which has been specifically designed for the needs of our industry as print and publish publishing. Well, let's go to the uh, um, the second extension I want to look at, and that is, um, it's been a lifesaver for me for quite a long time. Now, uh, I, I, I want to go to a PowerPoint presentation which I did last year uh, on Cork Express 2016. And uh, the point of this presentation uh, was uh, in order for uh, me to explain uh, some of the exciting new features, one of which was a direct import from a PDF and vector and conversion to native objects. And that's very exciting. The problem was that when I uh, put my PowerPoint into the projector of the venue where I was working, it didn't work. Uh, for some reason, PowerPoint got all confused. It didn't know uh, which uh, screen to show it on. It was showing the uh, preview version on the main screen and showing the main version on my laptop screen. The engineer I couldn't solve the problem, and I thought, what, what is the way around this? And because the answer is that I uh, simply exported, so save as uh, from uh, PowerPoint, I exported as PDF, uh, and um, 
uh, as you can see here on the screen, uh, I, I saved it as, as Quark presentation. I'm just going to cancel that because I've already done it. And I went back to Quark Express. And using uh, Quark's regular import from uh, native objects, I could uh, go to Quark presentation and it would happily uh, get the first page in for me. Uh, and I could convert that to native objects if I wanted to. Um, but uh, I would have to do every page one by one. Now, of course, what I could have done is using image grid, I could have uh, created separate files uh, and with image grid, use them to fill uh, each page. But uh, the problem with that is I hadn't got time. It was about two minutes before I was going on. So instead, uh, I, uh, let's get rid of that. I used this extension called uh, PDF Importer Pro. It's my creation orts, uh, and it appears here. Uh, so only if you install it, you can see what extensions you've got installed under Utilities Extensions Manager. You can see there's a lot of things that are built into Quark Express, but the ones we're talking about today, uh, so you've got autocorrect uh, um, XT over here, uh, and down at the bottom here, we've got uh, PDF Importer Pro. Um, there we are. So cancel that. Uh, actually, if I, if I just click on that, you can, you can see a bit more about it. So it tells you who created it, where it is, and so on and so on and so on. I don't usually go to that thing, it's only if there's a problem. But what PDF Importer Pro does, it just puts an extra import PDF there. And now if I quick click on quarkpresentation.pdf and open it, uh, it uh, allows me to convert to native objects in the usual way. Uh, and if you now look at my uh, page layout, down here, uh, you'll see that it's created 37 pages, which is my entire presentation. And uh, again, because it's native objects, um, I can edit that text if I want to. Now, what I then did was I clicked on preview HTML5 publication down here, uh, and uh, we got the usual uh, work while it exports the PDF. Uh, and uh, the upshot was, that uh, after a couple of minutes, uh, it loaded onto, actually not even a couple of minutes, after a few seconds, it loaded onto my, uh, my screen, uh, as you can see, and I then had uh, to present in my browser uh, my complete uh, presentation, um, which uh, worked like this. And um, uh, this was amazing. Uh, it's not really what that particular extension has been designed for, uh, but uh, it is uh, a pretty fab usage of it. Well, uh, what's going on here? PDF Importer Pro very simply uh, uses Quark's built-in functionality for converting native objects, uh, and it just takes uh, every page of the PDF uh, one by one, uh, and uh, it then just converts them. It's a, a massive time saver. Now, imagine that you're working on uh, a book which somebody else has done, uh, and um, uh, what they all, all they want you to do is to change the title of the book. They've got a PDF of every page in, in that book. They've got the entire PDF of the book. Uh, all they want you to do is change the headers. Well, in uh, Quark Express 2017, with PDF Importer Pro, you just import the entire thing uh, delete those headers, uh, replace them. And this is a job which can be done in about five minutes. If you're working on a book of 300 pages, that would otherwise take you hours or even days. Of course, the more automatic it is, the less chance of errors. Well, okay, that's the first tool I want to talk about. So uh, that's PDF Importer Pro uh, and Autocorrect XT. But let's now uh, come to another one here, which is also by Creation Orts. Uh, it's by, it's called Spellchecker Pro. And this doesn't uh, get in the way of autocorrect XT at all. Uh, it's an entirely different kind of thing. All this does, and again, uh, like every extension, what it's doing is it's simply uh, enhancing one feature of Quark. It's not doing all kinds of exciting things. It's doing one thing very well. If you now go with this extension installed to check spelling, You'll see there's a new option, Spell Check Engine. And that offers you Quark Express, what you always have, Mac OS, which you do, don't usually get, and Hunspell. And I, I'm on a Hunspell right here. And Hunspell is a suite of uh, downloadable 
open source dictionaries uh, with things like Faroese and Icelandic uh, and uh, all kinds of uh, exciting languages, which Quark doesn't directly support, but which are supported <coughs> in the Hunspell uh, dictionaries because they're open source. And so if you're uh, working on those, uh, then this is a lifesaver. Now, equally, you might say, well, I don't, I don't really want to do different languages, but I've, I've been working on this document in um, uh, a, a, another program. I've been work, perhaps working in Word or whatever, and I've got uh, thousands of corrections in the Mac OS dictionaries, uh, or if you're on Windows and the Windows dictionaries. Well, um, it will then enable you to use your dictionaries, which you've customized for other programs, uh, directly in Quark Express. Well, there's just one more extension I want to talk about today before we stop, and that is a very simple extension, again by Creation Arts. Uh, these are great friends of mine, and uh, they actually have um, responded to some of my suggestions in, in creating some of these plugins. So I'm, I'm very excited about them. Um, but uh, with Image Info, uh, it, it again takes information available to you, usually in Usage. Uh, so if you go to Usage Pictures, uh, then you can see uh, various bits of this information. You can also go to uh, profile uh, information and it would get other information uh, and you could go to the bottom of the screen and see different information from that. And again on your import you can see different information. What this does is it brings it all together in one uh, window uh, which you can uh, set which information it's going to give you. Uh, and it tells you name, format, color space, uh, layer, interesting, status, uh, is it a bad file, is it, is it missing, um, location, we can just spread that out so we can see the entire location, size, dimensions, actual PPI, effective PPI, so that's the effective PPI uh, once it's in your document at size, uh, date, page, uh, if it's a PDF document, scale, and so on. And again, this is very useful if you want to then edit the document, uh, or if you want to relink it uh, or show in Finder, you can do so from these options. These are um, very useful uh, extensions. They, uh, as I say, they don't do a whole load of things. They, they do, each of them does one thing well. And that's the mark of a really good extension that it extends Quark Express. It's not trying to be an entirely different program. It extends Quark Express to do something which you'd say, oh, why couldn't it do that? Now, these are extensions which I use a lot, uh, and uh, Athena Soft and Creation Arts have been very kind to, to let me have them for this review. Uh, there are lots of other extensions, uh, things like Joe Letter uh, and, and the Bardia extensions and, and the conversion from uh, InDesign extensions, and, and have a look at those. Uh, if you make one of those extensions, I haven't not reviewed them because I don't like them, it's just that the, the ones which I've looked at today are ones which I use a great deal, but if, if you want me to have a look at your extension, do give me a buzz. Uh, well, that's all we've got time for today. Uh, Martin Turner, author of Desktop Publishing with Cork Express 2017. Please do have a look at the book, and in the meantime, I wish you happy talking. Okay.